we're going to learn, we're going to review a little bit about facts and opinion, and we're going to do, we're going to take it a little bit further, okay? So, I want you to turn and talk, okay, and discuss each sentence with your partner, decide if it's a fact or opinion, and why you think it's a fact or opinion. So take two minutes, go ahead. Sensory details and explain what they are. Good. And the last one, Marva? Students will express opinions using evidence to support them and why. Good. So, what are some of the words that we're seeing repeated here? What are some of the words, the big ideas, the topics? Yes. Students will. Okay, that's always an objective, right? But what are some of the topics? What are we going to learn about? We Sensory details. Sensory details, okay. What else? What's another word that might be repeated? Yes. Descriptive. 
descriptive language. Good. And something else? Oral conversation. Okay. And what's another topic? Writing. Writing. And what's this important word here? Opinions. Opinions. Okay. So.
frog. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and simple. It's a frog. Why, why wouldn't you want to eat it? Because people doesn't eat it and it's I know it's it's lit everywhere. It's okay. Alright. Um I don't think want to eat it because because I don't know if they cooked it. Exactly, okay? So, yes. You've, you've never seen anybody eat it? Okay, so it, you usually, sometimes you eat things that other, your parents like say, oh, try it, try it, right? But you've never seen your parent eat that. Uh, I've never seen anybody eat that. I wouldn't want to eat it because it would make my stomach tremble. I, I think so, right? I don't know how he does it. And did you hear him how he said? It's delicious, right? Okay, so he says it's delicious. We would say it's disgusting. They're both opinions. But we have our reasons for, for having those opinions. Yeah. He has his reasons for having his opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to ask our guest, uh, our guest classmate to come up, and we're going to do something called a fishbowl activity. Okay? So a fishbowl activity is like... Yeah, okay. It's like a fishbowl for a reason, because you observe the behaviors that I would like to see from you. Okay? So you like when you have a, a fish in a bowl at home, right? A pet fish, and you just watch it. Right? So that's kind of, that's why this is called a fish bowl activity. Okay? So okay. So Kenya. Today we have to try this thing the teacher gave us, and we have to um, use our sensory details to kind of uh, to, to describe it in a way, right? Yeah. You ever seen anything like this before? Mm. I don't know. All right. So the first one's to sight. So what would we? What would we? What would you say? Looking at it. I think the thing is shaped like a pie. Like a pie. So what? What shape is that? Round, right? It's round. Yeah, yeah, right. So we should definitely think that's round. What else do you see? Um, I see like um these. these they look like brown brown pieces in it. Yeah. And I'm not sure what those are. These brown pieces yeah. everywhere. What color is it? Because this is all sight. We're all trying to find the sight. Let's see. What color is it? Um, it's a little brownish. Yeah, and it's a little like darker on the other side. On yeah. the outside. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we we have to touch it according to touch what? So, touch it. Mm. Oh man, it's so a little like a hard. Don't you see that? Yeah. Okay, it feels like like rough. The, the yeah. texture, the texture is kind of like rough. Okay. So it feels it feels a little bumpy, like rough. The texture, right? Mm. When I touch it. Okay. So the next one, sound. How are we gonna do sound? Is that what you should do? Like this? No. No, okay. Wait, let me try. Alright, maybe if I broke break it. it? Yeah, alright, let's try. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what word did you describe that? Um. Crunchy? Crunchy, yeah. yeah. Crunchy, crispy, crispy? Yeah. I like that one. Let's try yours. I like it. I'll write this. Okay. Alright, now the smell. Mmm. What word would you use to describe that? Mm. Smell. I would like to like a um, uh, vanilla fragrance. Mmm, fragrance. Look at that big word she used. Vanilla fragrance. Very good. Okay. I smell it's sweet. Yeah. I smell sweet. Well, the smell of it. Yeah. Something sweet. Some sugar. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> okay. The last one. I will take. Writing all these words down, right? What I'm seeing, what I'm feeling, what I, what I hear, what I smell. The last one is taste. Hmm. Let's taste what this um, is. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. This piece. Oh, so crunchy. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's good. It is sweet. A little chocolatey, right? Hmm. Okay, so. We have all this. What would you say? This is what, what opinion can we form about this? I don't know what it is. Does anybody know what this is called? What's this called? No. Okay. 
And you could form that this thing is, is a crunchy, chocolatey, sweetie, delicious cookie. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Alright. So does everyone everyone see what kind of what happened here? Who yeah. could tell me some of the words that we were using over and over again? Thank you, Ken. You were awesome. Crunchy. Crunchy. What else what words were we using? Delicious. Delicious. Sweet. Sweet. Chocolate. Brownish. Yeah, brownish. Chocolate. Brownish. 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 So color, right? We're talking about the color. Fragrance. Brown. Right? Fragrance. Fragrance. What were some of the other fragrance? What were some of the other things when we were looking at it? What did we have to say first? This is what we find. Think. Think. Well, that's an opinion part, but what did we what did we use our senses? Senses. What are our senses? What are those words, right? Smell. Um, smell. That touch. touch. Here.
and what they are, okay? And our five senses help us to come up with what? Our opinions. opinions. Okay. So as you finish your notes, this is going to go in your uh, toolkit. You take a long uh, folder that I'm going to create for you. Okay. Explain the activity. Yes. So can, um, please uh, check in with me. Do everyone understand what we're doing so far? Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Give me a thumbs down if you don't understand. Give me a fist if you need more explanation. I see everyone's? Marva? We're good? Yeah. Now I'm going to explain the activity and then I'm going to do a ch another check in. Okay? Everyone's ready? Yeah. Okay, in front of you, you have an item that I bet you haven't had before. Okay? So, it's an unfamiliar food, it's unique. Okay? So, I would like you and your partner to go through the sensory details, the five senses. You are going to get a graphic organizer that looks exactly like this, okay? You are going to put what you feel, what you see, how it feels, what it sounds like, what it smells like, and the taste, okay? So remember, when you talk about sight, it's everything. It's color, it's... it's um, uh, shape, it's all those things, okay? So, everyone has a food eye in front of them. The last thing I want you to do, the last thing, is taste, okay? Everyone's clear? Yes. Okay, so while you are completing this graphic organizer, you guys should talk, discuss, okay? Okay. What are some of the things, you don't have to write the same exact things, you're discussing. So, maybe Neji likes cottage cheese, okay? Maybe Ryan doesn't like it, so he's gonna write his own opinion, okay? But you guys can talk and discuss the other things, okay? Okay. So Ryan, just, I think I have this person. Talking to the so, you know, you can say, this smells like, when I touch this, it feels like. So this is just to help you have a conversation, okay? Um, when I break this, you, you're not breaking it though. Um, but you guys, when you touch them, I'm kind of like, okay? Oh, you guys are still taking notes? So, all right. Give them a minute to take their notes before anybody starts, okay? Just put it on the side, finish your notes, okay? I don't want to rush you. No, it's a graphic organizer. You do not have to write sentences. Good question. Okay, so, yeah. Sensory details are. Oh, you didn't get the chance to have it. What are they? They are details that use what? Okay, so this one you're going to kind of. You just have a conversation. Who needs a few more minutes for their uh, notes? Did I move too fast? I can put this on. Oh. Um, I said, no, 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 I just said, 
da ono smo, a snack na ono smo da. Okay, interesting language. All right, go ahead. I think this smells like black beans and prune. Okay. I think it's just that chocolate without sugar. Okay, very good. So what's your opinion? I think that this thing is a sugar free. I think it's nasty. <laughs> okay. So even though you were trying the same thing, you didn't have the same opinion. Okay. I'm gonna let Marva go. So if they, anybody wants to try theirs, you can pass it around. Mm. Mine was, looks like scrambled eggs. Mm. Mm. Mine looks like yellow. Sit down and listen to everyone. Listen to what they should say. They touch like gross. And the shell looks so crunchy. It smells cookies. And it smells. This, this smells frankie. Frankie. It's vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. It is. It is delicious. Sweet, sweet and caramel. But so what was your opinion? Um, those rice. Those rice creams are delicious because it is like caramel. Okay. Good. Very nice. It tastes so good and delicious. I like it. Yeah. So they had rice crisps. So you guys came up with your after you kind of looked at it and investigated and came up with those those sensory details. You changed your mind. Okay. So if anybody wants to try theirs, with their opinion, with Basil's opinion, what do you think? They are very. Uh, they are true about what they think. What was that? That they are delicious. Delicious. They were saying delicious, mm -hmm. right? And sweet and and, and um like caramel. They didn't make, uh, make my opinion. It was a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sometimes there's a great line between fact and opinion, right? But if you really think it, it's an opinion. Okay. All right. Last group. Everyone wants to try this one. No. Oh, Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> And it's white. Mm. Okay. There are little. What, what, there is little round. What little like ball things yes. in it, right? So you should have like little round balls of something, right? Yes. Okay. What else? This smells. This smell like cream cheese. <laughs> um, it feels soft. It's some um, uh, squishy. Good. This tastes like salty. Sounds like salty or tastes no, like salty? It tastes like salty. Tastes like salt. It is salty, it like right? Okay. It tastes like milk. Okay. It tastes like cream cheese. So what's your overall opinion? Good or bad? What? Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Tell mommy not to buy that? Okay. So just to report. Well, what are sensory details? What are our sensory Side, details? Thought, sound, smell. Good. Okay. And what did we use today? What did we use our sensory details to do? Um, to create an opinion. opinion. Okay. All right. So the final step is your exit ticket. When you finish that, you are done. Just trying to get on your work. You got it. Then we are done. I will need. Yeah. Look at my pretty. Oh. So, for your homework, I want you to go home. I'm going to give you another sensory detail chart. I want you to try your favorite food this time. And I want you to do the same details, sensory details. And then you're going to come share it out on Monday, okay? The sensory detail chart, and I want you to choose your favorite food, okay? And fill it out. Okay, we die. And I'm Karen. Karen, thank you. Thank you. Graphic organizers, mm -hmm. right? Here we have your sensory details 
and you came up with an opinion, okay? Now, if you said it was delicious, you have to come up with, what's that called if you come up with an idea behind something, right? So if I say it's delicious and I say all these things, they are my... Reasons. Reasons. Evidence. They are my reasons, my evidence, okay? Yes, those are both, okay? My reasons, my evidence. I don't know. Oh,